My dad's what's typically known as an alpha male, right? And I'm what's typically known as disappointing. <laughs> like, he's like coming into Liverpool and looking around at the streets, even looking around this room right now, I'm kind of afraid because all the men are defined by their masculinity. You're all kind of, you know, big, broad shoulder kind of. And all the women are as well. <laughs> I thought when I step onto this stage, they're going to pass me around like a cheap rose at a book club. <laughs> but you didn't, and I feel safe. Um, from you guys, not from the stuff inside my own head, because that's fucked up. I'm, I'm getting old. I'm getting old. I'm 26. I know. I was 25 last year. I don't know what's happened. A birthday, I think. But 25, all right, anyone 25 and younger? <laughs> Fuck each and every one of you. Because 25 is great. 25 is mid 20s, and then 26 is mid to late 20s. And late is a euphemism for dead. <laughs> I can pack this shit in right now. I knew I was getting properly old when my doctor started talking to me about prostate exams, which I didn't like because it wasn't during an appointment. <laughs> He's weird, my doctor, right? He gives himself prostate exams and then brags about it. Right up his own ass. <laughs> I feel bad doing that joke. I feel off balance because I can do men's health jokes. Can't do women's health so much. I, I only recently learned what the pencil test was. Do you guys know, know what the pencil test is? That you look, you look, right, I'll explain. The pencil test, right, is you get a pencil, you put it underneath a booby, don't laugh at booby. <laughs> and then what happens is, you get kicked out of the life drawing class. <laughs> With no sense of irony, they describe you as a sketchy character. <laughs> <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha